Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com Well we're almost done with our little e-commerce site here. We've added sale categories and products and pages and this that and the other. Today what we're going to do is add the secondary men menu to this so we can add the new pages that we've added. And we'll just do a bit of housekeeping on this menu. I want to add a home page to this. I want to get rid of the search and I think I'll put the cart up on the top menu when we put it on. Okay, so to do that, first thing we need to do is actually create a new menu for us to use on the top there with the new pages we built. So let's go to the dashboard. We'll go to appearance, menus. Now here's our original one. I want to add the home page to it. There's the home page. And I think I want to add the shop page to it as well because we've got a sales page but actually not a shop page. So let's add the shop page to it as well. And just left click and drag and put it where you want it. And we'll save that one. Now if we have a look at that page and refresh those should appear up here. There we go, home, shop. Fantastic. So let's add our next menu. We'll go back to the menus page. I'm going to go here and hit the create a new menu link. I'm going to call my menu top. Let's create the menu with a little button over here. And add the pages we want to put up there. Well I want the returns page we created, the privacy policy. We'll have my account up there. We'll have checkout and cart at the top there and let's have we've got my account that'll do for login so that'll that's good I've checked them let's hit the add to menu button that's fine that's pretty much the order I want them in let's put uh, there and also want to put our contact us page I'm not seeing our contact us page here I know we made it Perhaps it's still a draft. Let's save this menu. Open our pages. And there's a contact. It's a draft. So I'm going to go into quick edit. I'm going to publish it. Obviously don't publish it unless you know you're happy with it. I know I'm happy with that one. We just used it as a draft the other day. So we've published that one now. Let's go back to our menus. And we've saved our menu. There's the contact page appeared there. There we go. And we'll put that one up before my account. So you've got contact my account returns, privacy policy, checkout, and cart. Great. Let's save that menu now. And we want to put it somewhere. So I'm going to go to my theme customizer for these don't know where the theme customizer is just go down to Divi and it's the third one down three theme customizer and here we are looks like I need to refresh on this still showing the old menu there okay that's better okay let's add our second menu so what we want to do we go down to where it says menus and here's top the one I've just created where do we want to put it Remember, this is the primary menu right here. So the prime, I don't want to assign it to primary. I want to assign it to the secondary. When I do that, you will see the secondary appear on top. And there it is. And it's actually come up <laughs> with exactly the right color that I wanted it to because I've set that as my accent color for the theme. But how do you not? If you go back to menus, now we can go down to header and navigation to the secondary menu and you can color it however you wish down here make your text bigger or smaller and then we've got the contact my account returns privacy policy checkout cart which is right there and it's showing that they've got 11 items in it which is ideal I just wanted to get rid of that search magnifying glass there I'm going to take the text size up on this menu slightly say to 14 or something so it should be the same as it is below it's about right yeah okay that works great so let's go back now and get rid of that little 
search icon up there. So let's go to header elements and if you look in there's a little checkbox just uncheck it and the search icon's gone. So that's it, I believe we're done. Let's publish this. Now let's check out a page. When I refresh, we should have our new bar on the top with our new pages. There we go, fantastic. We're about done with this site. In the next video, I'm gonna show you a plugin that I use, it's absolutely free, and I use it for backing up my site, and it, you can also use it for transferring your site, it's great. So we'll do that in the next video. So I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.